Wagwa Masim, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in this video, I am going to be sharing with you, I'm going to be doing a tutorial how I make this versatile pillow blanket that you can use in your couch, you can use it at work, you can just wrap up yourself whenever you're feeling cold. Alright, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so for this zipper cushion, you're going to need your fabric that or your your towel or whatever you you cover with you're gonna need that piece so i am using this piece of fabric that i have left over from mass making i'm also using this piece of denim that's going to be serving as my cushion cover that i also have left over from mass making then you will need your zipper i am using this kind of zipper and then you will need also the zip itself that you're going to attach now what you are going to do you're going to ensure that you fold your blanket whatever you're using your blanket your towel your sheet let me just cut off this piece of string here i just went ahead guys to um swap my edges so yeah, I have some strings left over from that. So you're going to ensure that you fold your blanket or your inner piece, your sheet, whatever you'll be using. Put your edges together and you can choose where you want to put your zipper cover. So you're going to get your edges together like so. I'm going to be using the edge, you'll see that in a short while. All right, so you're gonna ensure that you have one section of the fabric like this, All right? Now we're gonna get our cover and we're just going to measure. I'm gonna leave about half of an inch, so I'm estimating it, half of an inch alongside the perimeters. All right, so let's fold this over now to get the measurement of the cushion cover. All right, and we're going to cut this out. To ensure everything is properly lined up. So this is going to be our cushion cover. All right, so I'm gonna straighten up the edges. Straighten up the edge on this side. And on this side. So guys, you can use your measurement if you want, but I'm just doing this rough. Just to demonstrate the process. All right, so we're gonna go to the ironing board and we're gonna press under the edges like so. Just to lay them flat so that it's a lot easier to sew. And we're just laying under half of an inch. And on this side, so we're just using this as our marker, this indentation as our marker. We're gonna come over on this side. So now, in order to cut our zipper, we have to now um, measure to see how many inches we have. 
so this is 19 and three quarters of an inch this is 12 and a quarter so it's nine and three quarters times 12 and three quarters of an inch and we're going to be leaving three inches allowance So we're gonna cut our zipper we're gonna cut it on the slant the slant next we're gonna pull the zipper apart all right guys so we have our zipper we've pulled it apart and so at the midpoint we're just going to mark the midpoint You can use a tailor's chalk or a piece of chalk or anything that is um, that can really be seen but I'm just gonna use my pins to mark the midpoint so my midpoint is along this line and then I have already cut my zipper You're, all, all you need to do is just to measure to see how much zipper you will need coming from one midpoint to the next midpoint all right so we're going to leave about one and a half inch of zipper that we're going to be pushing in this section right so you can measure that out i'm just judging it and you're going to leave about three quarters of an inch here so we're pinning from this point You want to ensure that you lay your fabric flat as well especially when you get to the corner and then right at the corner you're gonna hold it in place like this and you're going to make a little triangle here's the triangle you're gonna make that little triangle and you're gonna pin it All right, and when you get along the side here again, you're holding this in place like so, and then you fold, and you have your little triangle underneath here. All right, and then you're going to pin that in place again. So this is what we have so far and then we're pinning to this midpoint and then just like we left one this this three quarters of an inch up here we're leaving the same amount here and right, so I'm just gonna pin that in place so that I don't lose my midpoint And I'm not gonna cut my zipper yet. When I'm through, I will just finish off with the cutting. So I'm just gonna place this right here, just fold it back like this. And then I'm gonna leave another three quarters of an inch on this side again, where I'm going to start the other end of the zipper. All right, I'll spin this down for now. At the midpoint. So again, we're going to leave another half of an inch. And 
and we're leaving the three quarters of an inch as well. And you're just gonna basically pin like you did on the other side. Again, remember to leave your triangle on this end. So you're gonna fold it like so. And you're gonna pin this in place. And guys, I am going to base. I really like to base so that I can see the outcome and to catch any mistakes before I do my final stitching. But if you don't have to base, then that's quite fine. Or if you don't want to base, that's quite fine. But I think basting allows you to make any adjustments and to, to catch anything that you need to catch. Alright guys, this is just a nice um, idea for, you know, if, you're, if, you're, if you're, you can take this to the office with you, you can take it to, you can, can take something like this on your picnics and so on. Alright, so we have this left and we will come to how we deal with that. But right now, this is how it's looking. And we're going to take this to, I'm going to base this up and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I, show you how I sew this up. So what we're going to do, we're going to open out the fabric at this point and then we're going to put the cover over the edge of the fabric and we're going to sew alongside here. We're going to stop here. So alongside here and around and around here, we're going to leave these sections out. All right. So we're going to the machine at this point. So when we're done installing the zipper, we tuck away the 
loose edges and we are going to secure this with a few blind stitches so that the zip does not come off. Now that's it for this tutorial. If you full enjoyed what I just shared, please ensure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I share on my channel things that I do to live naturally on a budget. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.